Having a plan for the holidays now is what's going to let businesses move the needle on in this important time. One thing that I suggest for small businesses that are considering using online fundraising is really thinking about it as a discrete project. We find that asks made to, to communities to support them do really well when they're pretty tangible. I need this piece of equipment because it's going to be able to allow me to increase my production by 50%. That really shows you have a direction and the use for the money. You have a plan. Crowdfunding comes in a couple of different forms. It can be just a gift. It can also be perks based. There's also crowd lending. Uh, this is the idea where many people can back a loan so that it's not all one person giving the funding, but it's, you know, 100, 150 people contributing to um, a person's loan. Unlike where you make a request, it's with an institution, they will approve or deny your request. Crowdfunding is an inherently much more social process. I think it takes kind of a level of bravery and vulnerability to be able to put oneself out there, convey what's really important to them and their business and ask for that support. But I think what is effective about doing that, we see that once people have gone through the steps of, of doing some initial crowdfunding and bringing their friends and family on to support their uh, campaign, people from all over the world will then start contributing to their campaign as well. At the end of the day, the theme is a connectedness. I think an entrepreneur doing the asking is receiving, you know, not just the, the resource they need, but also the, the connection.